Over the course of the next two weeks, twice a week, I'm going to have a look at some of the most popular custom ISOs available currently. Today, I'm having a look at Windows X Lite. Um, in particular, Windows X Lite, Windows 10 builds, the latest Windows X Lite Optimum 10 version 2. So what I'll do in the description of the video, I'll leave a link to this page. And then if you are interested in, in downloading this ISO, just go ahead and hit that download button. It's pretty straightforward and simple. But before we get to it, guys, if you're a subscriber to this channel, just make sure that you go to my page and make sure that the notification icon is selected so that when I do drop a new video, you're instantly notified. It really will help me with the algorithm. And for those of you that aren't subscribed, if you enjoyed this video, by the end of the video, please consider subscribing. But at that, let's get to it. Right, so I just booted into Windows X Lite. I have not set up um, Windows just as of yet. I really do like this ISO. Um, as I pointed out in my previous custom ISO videos, this was my favorite one, so I'm glad you guys selected it as the first custom ISO to cover. So before I set up everything and install the games, blah, 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 I just wanna go over a couple of things. So just to show you, the, the install size is minuscule. As you can see there, I've got 55.2 gigabytes free of 60 gigabytes. I have disabled um, uh, virtual memory because I just wanted to be able to show you just how small it is. Obviously, I'm going to set that up just now. Um, yeah, so it's incredibly light, doesn't take up a lot of space. And then I could show you the RAM usage, but because I am using OBS, it's not really reflective. So I'll just show you the little screenshots I took. So as you install, uh, background processes 6, Windows processes range between 33 and 34. But as you can see, it's not using any CPU. Well, very little CPU. Um, it's only using 7% of, of RAM. I do have 16 gigabytes, so that's about 1.1, 1.2 1 gigabytes. Yeah, you can see 1.1 gigabytes. Um, I really like the look and feel of this, this custom ISO. It was my favorite, as mentioned earlier. Um, they, they customized the little start menu. It's transparent, it looks nice. Um, you got some X lights tools here. Yeah, you can switch Windows Update on, switch Update off, Windows Touch Keyboard on and off, as well as a whole bunch of extras. As I did mention in my old custom ISO video, I love the fact that they include Win Error Tweaker. It makes my life easier, and Win Error Tweaker is the boss. So, yeah, I like that. Um, let's just go back to the top. There are. Yeah, so you can just go through this. It is a very nice looking operating system. Oh, I like the fact that they did modify the look and feel because obviously this is Windows X Lite 10 Optimum version 2. I do like the fact that like instead of using just the standard stock standard Windows look and feel for File Explorer, it is using a more a Windows 11 look. It looks quite funky, not gonna lie. But anyways, guys, those are my first impressions of Windows X Lite. Let me install everything, painstakingly install freaking online games, and let's get started with the video. Right, so I finished setting up Windows X Lite as well as doing all my benchmarks and just optimizing Windows to my liking uh, so I can compare apples with apples. The things I really liked about Windows X Lite Obviously, as mentioned earlier, the fact that when error tweaker is already pre-built into, into the ISO. Um, last time the dev actually watched my Windows X Lite video, so if you're watching this one again, a suggestion perhaps, you can use it or lose it, whatever. But maybe look at working a Windows Privacy Dashboard into, into this build. Um, it's just gonna help with um, yeah, going through your privacy setting instead of having to go through all these options individually. Uh, yeah, you can just switch off all the privacy options via Windows Privacy Dashboard. So, could be a cool suggestion. Thing that I ran into a snag again, I'm not, when I did all my benchmarks, and I'm going to get to that now now, I was not able to benchmark Valorant again. 
um, because I'm, I created a 60 gig partition for uh, for Windows X Lite, installed Valorant, but instead of being able to run the game, it wanted to update the game and there just was not enough space. So yet again, no online testing. Sorry guys. Um, very cool is I normally, when I set up Windows, uh, if I reject it, I switch off Spectre and Multan mitigations. It's uh, it's especially helpful for older CPUs, but I just do it in anyway. And when I wanted to do it, I noticed it was off by default. So a big golden feather for the dev on this one. And then I suppose you guys are wanting me to get to my results. So here we go. So all my games are tested in medium settings, with the exception of Resident Evil 4 Remake. I just use a mixture of medium, high and low. The, my in-game settings basically. Everything else is medium with FSR set to quality. Uh, unfortunately, all, uh, the only games I tested were single player games. I do think with these custom ISOs, uh, you, you'll see more um, benefits in terms of FPS and 1% lows when it comes to online or multiplayer games as those are generally very CPU bound. Obviously, I test on a GTX. I've got a GTX 1650 laptop. And then for both these benchmarks, I use the latest NVIDIA driver 536.40. So Windows Optimize, um, I just pulled this straight from the benchmark I did the other day. But obviously I'm testing, or um, only, I've only got six games in the pool, so the numbers are slightly different. When I add up all the average FPSs, my total FPS over six games, not 12 games, was 401 divided by six. So my average FPS per game on Windows Optimize was 66.83. Same thing with 1% lows. When I add those up, it comes to 303 divided by 6. So my average 1% low per game is 50.5. And when I divide the 1% lows by the average FPS, over those 6 games on my optimized windows, my stability percentage was 75.56, which is pretty much as good as, good as, good as it gets for those 6 games. But when it's x -Lite actually... Whereas the average FPS and the 1% lows are slightly lower, the difference between the two is less. So it's actually a little bit more stable. So look, I'm not trying to kiss the ass of Windows X Lite, but it's actually a pretty damn good ISO, I reckon. In fact, it's the best one. I've, I've, in, I've only tested about five or six different custom ISOs, and I have to say, I highly recommend Windows X Lite. Because when I add up all the average FPSs, I get 395 over those six games I tested, divided by six, so my average FPS per game is 65.83. And then same thing for the 1% lows. So slightly lower, 301, then uh, for my Windows optimized. But you can see the 1% lows are practically the same for Windows X Lite and my, my just general Windows optimized. But because the average FPS is lower here, um, the 1% the lows are actually closer to the average FPS. So it's actually a little bit more stable on Windows X Lite. So guys, if one my recommendation, I know this is only the first um, custom ISO I'm testing, but it's smooth, it looks good, it's light, it's got some really cool things pre-built into it. Windows X Lite, highly recommended. Oh, just by the way, um, I'm going to do the intro of the video just now now. It's going to include the version of Windows X Lite, but this was Windows X Lite 10 Optimum version 2, I think. So, yeah, I'll make the intro just now. But guys, for custom ISO, highly recommend. If you're considering a custom ISO, highly recommend Windows X Lite. Thank you for watching. Have a good night. Cheers.